Hey everybody, um, Spoonfat here and we're going to boot up Slackware 13.37 uh, or the Elite Edition. Um, no, I just go for it. If you have, if you do not have a column monitor, cool. Uh, set up. You might want to remove. Mm -hmm. Do I have to partition the drives before I install or not? That's what I thought. Uh, because I don't have anything. Uh, F disk. Uh, F disk closed again. Oh. Oh, uh, uh disk. Oh. We got dev SDA. So we'll do dev SDA. Um, make file system. Oh, they have. Oh, yeah, of course, I don't have to do that. Um, do, 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 let's see. Um, add a new, a primary one. Oh, first sector is that, last sector is the whole thing. Let's see. Do we need to do anything else? B. All right. Right table and exit. Now we have a SDA one. So make FS type um, X four def SDA one. Oh no, it's called differently, of course. Dot uh, x four, that's it. Def x t eight one. All right, so that should do it. Uh, no, that's off. Oh, I forgot to make. No, I know. Uh, no, hehe, <laughs> I forgot to make one with swap. Alright, normally you would make a swap again, so, um, I already did that, but that's okay. Um, I'm just gonna install Slackware like this. Normally you would have a swap partition actually, but you know, this time we don't have any swap partition, which could cause a problem, but we'll see later on. Um, here you can see all the things is going to be installed, which is denoted by the asterisks in there. So you got some you got more than enough. Uh, install everything, yeah, of course. So right now it's going to install all the packages, and f from the origin, uh, Slackware was a command line interface distro, but right now it has a standard uh, desktop and uh, environment on it. But you can opt for not installing it, so you would have the command line interface again. Oh, it's really stupid that I forgot to make a swap. Which means that um, everything needs to be in the memory constantly. So let's just hope it won't crash.
Um, well, it's already at the M, so it's going pretty well. Uh, if you want to see how to make a swap with FDIS, then uh, let me know. I'll, I'll make a separate video on it. Um, it's not a problem. Basically, what I should have done is do FDISC, then new partition, then don't change the start uh, sector but change the end sector. So um, you would have like some uh, room left over, and then you're done. I think I'm going to pause it right here um, because I have no idea how long it's going to take for this to uh, like complete running. It's at the V right now, but who knows? Now it's at opt. Now it's at D, so yeah, let's just. Uh, yeah, it's gonna take a while. So uh, I'll see you um, after this whole thing's done. All right, so it did all the packages. Now this is pretty cool that uh, you can make a USB boot. So you can boot directly into your system, but I cannot make one because I don't have a USB stick installed. Um, yeah, just go for it. Oh, yes, yes, yes. This is about frame buffers, but... No, I don't need to, just do the standard console, that's fine. Um, I don't need any extra kernel parameters. Let's see. No, I don't need to use UTF-8 and install to the master boot record. So, that's fine with me. Um, yeah. Yes. Yes. Host name will be uh, Spoon F Slagware. Uh, domain name is um, Yes. Uh, I don't have a host name for the DSP server. Yep. All right. So here you can specify the extra packages that you need and. Oh no, these are to run at startup. Sorry. Um, yeah, that one is something I want. That is not what I need. Not what I need. Uh, no, that's something I do need actually. Uh, no, no, no. No, I don't need all those. Let's see. That one is pretty handy to load. These, this one is handy for if you're uh, on a Windows network. Uh, by the way, if you hear growling, that's my cat in the background. Uh, send mail. Uh, no, no, I need that one. System logging and SSH. Yes. I do not need any custom screen fonts. Um, make it that one.
Now can I do page down? Oh, it goes way faster. Europe. Oh, take that one. Right, so here you can choose which one you want to use. So you can use KDE, um, XFCE. So it's ah, oh, it's cholesterol free. All right. This one is the very basic. Um, as are these actually. So I'm just gonna go with um, XFC. E, I'm guessing there's no password. No, I don't need any password. All right, so we did everything. I'm gonna exit. Oh, yeah, of course. Uh, Alright, so now we're booting into um, Slackware. So, as you can see, if you're doing it, um, like the most part of this was command line, um, you have to do a lot of extra things to set up your. Um, Linux distribution and with Arch Linux, um, that's something I'm gonna do in the future uh, still because it takes a long time to do that. Um, and then we're gonna do everything from the beginning on up, so it's gonna be pretty awesome because you can specify everything about your system, All right? So and we have mail <laughs> cool uh... so start x should start the whole xfce um, desktop interface uh... which we have here right now so this is what we currently have on here they, these are all the tools on here development tools some educational tools some games well loads of games actually graphics multimedia multimedia dragon oh I thought it said dragon slayer um, so network we got we have Zen map on here as a standard oh, that's pretty cool um yeah so as you can see this is uh all about this is not actually slackware slackware is just the command line that you saw but they included desktop interfaces on here and um <laughs> this is pretty funny uh so this is everything um on slackware 13.37 uh, you was it A? Yeah. So it's pretty awesome because you may no, uh, Jesus Christ. I cannot type anymore. Yeah, I did the right thing. <sighs> Alright, that's not correct. I need to change that. Um, clear. Exit. And I'll log out. I'll log out. So. 
we have everything and we've got everything working. So what else is there to do? I don't think there's anything else to do. Um, yeah, there's nothing much else to do, so I'm just gonna shut this thing down right now, and I'll see you, um, well, for the next one.